Walking hand in hand, Roy and Mary Bell are a happy couple, but the road hasn't been easy. Roy had just returned from Iraq, his third combat deployment, and readjusting to life became a battle. Each time I deployed, you know, it got harder and harder to be around groups of people. Roy, you know, just really kept a lot of things to himself. A recent study suggests more than 300,000 troops suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder or a traumatic brain injury. Roy suffers from both. The news is no surprise to Karen Smith Rotabi, who runs Mission Healthy Relationships, a program aimed at teaching military couples how to manage conflict and improve their relationship. Some spouses will say, my husband's just not the same or my wife is just not the same person. Her top tips? Create a safe environment for your partner. For Mary and Roy, that meant letting Roy open up at his own pace. Plan and commit to a date night, but keep deeper issues out of the date. The way to prevent that is to talk about the tough issues at appropriate times so that you can go out to dinner and enjoy each other. And remember, how you manage conflict will determine the health of your relationship. If we can overcome those things, then there's nothing that we can't overcome. Even the stormiest of days. I'm Vanessa Welch reporting.